What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to talk about how you can use the number value function in Excel to better work with data that is coming from other countries. So the number value function just returns either numbers or a text as a number. And this is great because compared to other functions like the value or the int function, you can specify what is being used as the decimal separator, so separating the whole numbers from just the decimal, please, and the value separator, so it's separating the hundreds from the thousands, for example. So, in this example, we have an American 1500.25 and in the European 1500.25, and you want the European one to kind of be formatted in the same way as the American one. So, to use this, we can use, we can use number value. Number value, of parentheses, so text, so what do you want to work with, right? So we want to convert this into, you know, into a number. And as you can see, assuming that the formatting, if the formatting is in the same way as your default computer formatting, it will go ahead and work for this example and work for the American example, but not the European example. So for it to work as the European example, you have to specify a decimal separator. So what's separating the whole numbers from decimals? Well, that is this little comma right here. And what's separating the, the group? So that is this point right here. And then close parentheses. And you can see the number without a separator doesn't change. The American version changes quite a bit. And then the European one then works. So as you can see, this worked properly for the European version. But the American version turned from 1500.25 to 1525 to 150,025 because of how it viewed the comma and the dot. So if if this were me, personally, I would have it formatted just a basic number value right here. But then I would say if, if this is an error, because it's an error as the, with the European version, I would say if error, then use number value. You know, and then do the European for the number value. So number value, what text you want to convert, want to convert this number right here. What do you want to use as a decimal separator? We want to use a comma. And what do you want to use as a group separator? We want to use a dot. As you can see in this example, the decimal separator number and the group separator are kind of put in, spring, in strings whenever I'm using the function. So close parentheses. And as you can see, now that's has an if error, I copy paste down. Because it doesn't return an error in the American version, it prints 0.1500.25. And the error that was the European version now is also 1500.25. So as you can see, as you can see now, because now it is working for both properly for both the American and the, and the European value where it's both returning 1500.25. So that's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. And I hope this will help you work with data a little bit more cleanly and hope to keep things more consistent. This is also huge because, for example, if you're doing various lookups, an X lookup, a V lookup, or whatever, um, it helps make, sometimes you will see a number, and it is looks like a number, but in reality, it is formatted as text. So you can do that by using the is a number, or the is text, for example, to see if you're working with numbers or text. But one thing to note is that, that doing this kind of formula will just help make sure that your lookups will work better, and will help be, make it from the stronger because everything will be more consistent. That's it. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.